thank you very much for stopping in for supporting us. And they're off. Since last we spoke, recreational marijuana sales opened in Missouri, bringing customers to dispensaries in droves across the state. And now anyone 21 and up, no matter where they live, can walk in and buy weed. Missouri sure rolled out the green carpet in just the first three days from Friday through Sunday. Look at this. Recreational sales hit eight and a half million dollars. Factor in medical marijuana sales top 12.7 million. Again, that's in one weekend and the numbers are only projected to grow. In fact, the Missouri Cannabis Trade Association forecast sales could top $1.3 billion by 2026. That's a lot of green. And all this new foot traffic comes as businesses also work to serve customers with medical marijuana carts. Earlier this past week, I stopped by a dispensary to see how the rollout's going so far. I'm here at Proper Cannabis in Kansas City, Missouri with Megan Williams, the general manager. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Uh, you've had a week under your belt. This is a big change, came earlier than you anticipated. Yes, How's yes. business been so far? Um, phenomenal. Uh, we are really loving the increased foot traffic and having the ability to just kind of educate the community. You know, that's a big part of what we enjoy doing is spreading the cannabis love and making sure the community knows how to best use. So. How's it been as far as a uh, clientele? Because, you know, something big like this yeah. hasn't happened, right, mm -hmm. in Missouri. I imagine there's a little bit of novelty at first. You had lines around the block, right? Yep. Has that tapered off a little bit? Um, ever so slightly, but what I think has happened is our team has really done a great job of adapting to kind of the heavier flow. And we are, you know, utilizing things like medical fast track for patients who still have that medical card. Um, we have a drive through so we can utilize that for express pickup for online orders. So we've really just kind of adapted and overcome any of the floods of waves of people. <laughs> and millions in sales in Missouri in, the, in that first weekend. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned medical patients, which is good because, I mean, as we said, that is still a program Absolutely. here in Missouri. So how do you make sure, you said fast track, how do you make sure those customers can be helped uh, when you have the throngs of recreational fans who are coming in? Yes, yeah, so I mean, essentially what we're doing every day is we're dedicating specific patient care specialists or bud tenders to those medical patients. So anytime you come in, we will have a dedicated team member to getting the med patients in and out so that the med patient is continuing to have that tailored medical experience and allowing the recreational patients to kind of shop and just have fun. Is there a difference in product? There's not, right? It's just no, taxes are different? That's correct. So in the uh, Missouri market, there's not a difference in physical products. It is just going to be that tax rate. Moving forward, what would you like to see? I mean, what are the biggest challenges that you're dealing with right now? So um, for us, what we'd like to see is the um, to get these cashless ATMs back into our systems. Um, right now, we're operating on all cash, which is acceptable, but we do want to strive to get that second form of payment. We have a point of sale system that we operate with, and they are working on a third party platform. So I think that's going to be the route that we're taking is uh, the point of sale system that we have. They've kind of taken those strides for us. So kind of just waiting on them. What, what has been the reaction? I mean, you have, like you said, the people coming in saying, oh my gosh, this is, this is legal now. Yeah. But you've been talking to customers. What have you heard? Um, nothing but great things, honestly. I mean, the fact that it's attainable to anyone, um, it, it just creates a really fun atmosphere and everybody is really enjoying the interactions. I mean, it's, everybody's excited to be here. I have to ask you about Kansas, right? Because yeah. the rules are very different. Very much 10 so. minutes in that direction. Absolutely. You can't have marijuana in any shape or form. Correct. So have you gotten guidance from the state on, on how to uh, approach that? Or, or are you giving customers who are coming from Kansas special guidance? What are you telling them? Um, so we just treat all consumers exactly the same, you know, um, doesn't matter if they're from Kansas or from five minutes down the road. I guess Kansas could be five minutes down the road, but regardless, um, at the end of the day, we're just focusing on the education piece. And if a patient in Kansas who medically couldn't get the medical license that they maybe need living in Kansas, it really gives them a great avenue to be able to hop across, come see us. We're still providing the great education behind the medical experience just in a recreational market. And now there's no uh, limitation I and mean, people from out of state could get medical cards too. Yeah, as long as you have a government issued ID that's not expired, you are good to go. All right. Well, Megan Williams with Proper Cannabis, good luck. Thank you so much for yeah, your time today. Absolutely. Thank you so much.
Keep in mind, the recreational rollout is far from over. While many established dispensaries now have licenses to sell recreational weed, it'll be months before smaller businesses get their chance. So-called micro-businesses can apply for licenses starting June 6th and get them by September 6th at the earliest. There's also a criminal component to the law here. Local governments are now on the clock to expunge past marijuana convictions. Courts have until June 8th to expunge misdemeanor possession convictions and December 8th for felony convictions. Rest assured, we'll be talking a lot about this part of the law in the weeks ahead.